Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social Development and Employment and asks what progress has been made to better streamline the way the government contracts with social services. The Honourable Paula uh, Mr Speaker, we began the contract mapping project in mid-2010 uh, to provide greater transparency and access to the government's funding to social service providers. This was done by overlaying around 24,000 contracts and their information from Child, Youth and Family, Work and Income, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Education, Family and Community Services, um, TPK, Ministry of Justice, Ministry of Youth Development and the Department of Internal Affairs. It includes who and what is funded and where onto Google Maps. It provides a greater um, access to transparency for our communities. Jonathan Young, supplementary. Uh, can she update the House on the Government's high trust contracts? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Um, Mr Speaker, coming into Government we saw the need to support social services to streamline the way that we contracted with them and our funding in particular. So believing that it is local communities that can make the biggest difference for those families, High Trust Contracts recognises those community providers. It actually delivers them the contract um, all up front before they've actually done it, all at the beginning of the year. It consolidates other contracts and makes a big difference to them and how they work and their speed and flexibility and how they work with families. Question of oh, Rahui Kartne, supplementary question. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What level of savings can the government expect from the integration of government contracts under the Fano order model as against the silo approach of years gone by? The Honourable um, Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, I can't give the member an absolute on what the savings are under the integration of contracts under Fano Ora. And in all respect, I think that what it's actually done is providing more services to people and to Fano. Um, so there will be some savings because it's inevitable when you see those contracts merged together and integrated. But I think what it's done is more of the delivery that it's going to be delivering to those Fano well exceeds any small savings that you might get from bringing those contracts together. Question number eight, Grant Robertson. 